everybody, it's Allie Edwards and welcome back to December Daily for 2021. Today I am working on story number two. Yesterday I did a video that showed how I added in the, all of these pictures of my family, added in some journaling that I did on the mink there, so it's got a little bit of gold foil, big page of stamping, like loved starting out my album in that way. So now we're on to day two. And when I've got a couple things. One is dealing with the back of this page. And then the second thing is that I have a tag already in here from my foundation pages, excuse me, that I know that I want to use. So a couple different things that you can think about um, as you might be approaching this in your own album is you could, day two for you could simply just be the back of the two by two page protector, right? It doesn't have to be connected to something on the other side. It doesn't have to be a spread. It can be a single page. I think that's a nice reminder here at the very beginning that it doesn't always have to be um, a big spread. But what I wanna do is I wanna pair 10 things that I'm looking forward to this season, which is what I'm gonna write on this card or on this tag. I also did see yesterday, um, I think that we might have a few more of these tags, um, the tag bundle, those, there might have been a few of those come back in stock. It's not that we restocked them, but it's that we wait until um, we've shipped out everything and then make sure that there, you know, if we have any extras of something, we usually have a reserve of that, but I'm kind of guessing that maybe we've figured that part out and so some of them were made available uh, again. So it's possible that by the time you watch that, they're gone again, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that I do know that they were there. I love the tags. Um, I've got them in here in a few different places. But so this one again is gonna be 10 things I'm looking forward to this season. So I'm gonna journal those out on there, kind of like a bucket list, right? Kind of things that I hope to have happen or I hope to experience this month. And then I'm gonna pair that with some things over on the other side. So as I was thinking about what I wanted to put on the other side, there's lots of different things that I could do. I could take pictures around the house, like of, of where we, you know, what's been decorated so far. But as I was thinking about the fact that this story is really about looking forward or looking ahead or what are the things that I wanna experience, I thought about my Pinterest boards. And on Pinterest, I have a holiday board that is just a general inspiration. It's not December daily project inspiration it's just holiday um, inspiration and so what I ended up doing was printing out some of those images and so for this I just went on Pinterest I would went to my holiday board and I'll put a link for you guys below if you want to go see what's in on my holiday board um, then I take the images and just drag them over to my desktop and then I printed them out in the two by two size. And so for me, it was things related to food. And some of these will be related to things that I want to experience this season. And the other ones are um, just kind of visual inspiration. So there's like a big um, treat board, like instead of doing a charcuterie tray, it's like a... Um, uh, dessert tray. Then there was this other recipe that I liked that were skewers with like uh, small mozzarella and tomato and salami. I thought that looked, you know, in the shape of a wreath. That just looked really fun. More wreaths, obviously. I love them. As you can see here with the dried oranges, um, cranberries on the, on the stove, just the green and white, which is something that I always love. And then some stars that were wrapped in yarn that I thought were super cute. So it's basically kind of a, um, like a, a vision board a little bit, I guess, for, you know, it's, it's taking what things that I've saved onto Pinterest over the years and mostly more recent ones and then just simply printing them out. And that's going to go in here as inspiration that's tied to the 10 things that I'm looking forward to this season. So a nice reminder that you can use images online, right? That we're using these for personal projects. We're not selling them. Um, Maybe it's a, you could, you, maybe you do a, a collage of past December daily projects or your favorite ones, or you're telling a story about that. Um, or maybe it's a visual wish list of the things that you are wanting for the holidays this year, um, which is kind of, that's a little bit similar to what I'm doing. So these are going to go on the backs of my two by two pictures from yesterday. And then I also have a few other backs to deal with, right? I've got the back of this heart, I have the back of the circles from yesterday, and I have a couple different ideas. I kind of want to see what 
which things are going to go where. I could, this is a, would be a good place for me to use like one of the oranges or one of the poinsettias, uh, especially with the oranges, kind of pairing that with the same shapes and colors that I have in some of these two by two pictures. So that might be one that gets added on here. I was also thinking about using the icon stamp again, which is what I used yesterday, and maybe stamping a couple circles or playing around with stamping uh, this like wonky circle shape and maybe pairing it with something else on top. Just some of the things that I'm thinking about. I could also take, I've got these stars over here. These could go like on the back um, of the circles. We've got those three circles probably even like that one up there. Uh, I don't know. So that's kind of, that's, that's where I'm starting anyway and thinking about what I'm gonna stick in there. And then I'm also going to do the journaling over here and maybe do a title on here? Probably not. So I need I need some sort of title. Um, make a little title card, I think, for the over here. So maybe, maybe I'll do that um, on one of those circles. Maybe I'll print one out that says, you know, 10 things I'm looking forward to this season. All right, so starting off for me is simply going to be this process of um, punching or cutting out the um, my photos there and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna take it out of the album to work on it. All right, so starting off with cropping those images that I had found on Pinterest down to two by two, which will go into the pockets. I didn't decide to do anything else on top of those photos. You could number them, like if they were very specific, especially to what you might be putting on your, uh, on your list of 10 things there. You might want to number them. I just left them plain. The next thing that I did was I created a circle, a title circle in Photoshop, and I've made that available to you guys as a download, and it says 10 things I'm looking forward to this season. I printed them out. I did a red one, a black one, and then I tried it with a gold mink foil, and then I'll end up doing it with a red, which is what I end up using. There's a couple different designs there. You can download them. I ended up doing it. I tried it on paper first, and then switched back to transparency. Transparency doesn't work great with the that circle punch right there, so I end up um, cutting it out. But if you liked if you like this story idea, you can definitely download um, that word art file and use that as a jumping off point for your own story too. I end up using that one that. Um, is red on the clear and it just has the white backing from one of the circles previously. Adding a little rub on there onto one of the oranges that is in the main kit. There was a couple different oranges with these stacked stickers. I didn't want them to be as thick as they were going to be with the foam adhesive so I pulled the foam adhesive off before adding the number two onto that top orange and then you also saw I added a rub on from Tim Holtz and now I'm basically just going in and starting to put the photos into the pockets. A couple of them I had to trim down a little bit, um, you know, just doing all of those things, like getting things into the pockets and kind of figuring out what's going to go um, on those other ones that are in addition to the two by two photos. So again, editing or cropping them, trimming them down to be able to fit into the pockets there. I also knew that I needed to do something on the back of the number one. And so I really liked this transparency that's like an X pattern transparency on it's like a blue kind of a blue green I guess it's more green um, transparency and so I decided to cut that out to the same size as the stamped plus sign and am um, just trimming that out and gonna have that on the back there that will come out on that page I liked the addition of the of that greenish bluish color with the orange too I think that that looked ended up looking good um, just resetting up my the transparent title there then I'm adhering the orange onto the back of one of the vellum circles from the previous day and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere um, the, the other orange as well so that was the one I took I actually adhered that onto another one of the vellum circles that was in the main kit and so you get kind of the similar ideas I did yesterday I dove into the star mini kit. There were a couple chipboard pieces in there, ch little chipboard stars that had the nice same like gold color as the numbers in the main kit. So that was kind of a nice little addition there. I moved some of these stars around a little bit, um, but you probably have some other star options even if you didn't grab the star mini kit this year, but I'm pulling some of those colors off. Trying to, trying to 
trying something, trying one of those stars on the back of that um, piece there, the, the plus sign piece. I end up putting something else there in the end, but I tried out like the, one of the cork hearts. And I think what I do end up doing is, oh yeah, I can see what I did. So I moved the uh, chipboard heart from the star mini kit off of the, or the chipboard star. I moved it off of the felt heart. I added a follow la chipboard heart that was from a past um, December daily collection and I added that on top. You can also see that what I've been doing there is I added another tab along the edge, one of the tabs that was in the advent sticker calendar. Um, and then I adhered those two tags back to back. So the big tags that are from the shipping tag set, those got adhered back to back. And my story for tomorrow will be addressing the ING words that I stamped on the back. And we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Um, but definitely like those tab stickers to add along the edges. Avery index tabs work great um, there as well. So for my actual storytelling, thinking about, you know, what was I, what am I looking for? Forward to in this particular season I had a couple things that I really knew for sure like I really want to do a like a snack dinner a snack plate dinner or a big board like a charcuterie board dinner that was one of the pictures that I had from Pinterest on there I want to do that with the kids um, we've got some fun surprises so I'm excited for you know doing some of the planning of that kind of thing um, also looking forward to just like the quiet and cozy parts of December that I really treasure. Um, so getting that down on there. Um, our kids are going to be here for Christmas Eve this year. So that's always a fun uh, thing. Those are the kind of some, those were the kinds of things that I was putting down on there. So you might have really specific bucket list sorts of things, or you might have more general um, feelings. All of those can, can find a place here. And maybe you just want to document 10 other things. Um, 10 things I'm looking forward to felt like a really good way to dive into this album. So then I also, from the star kit, there was this really cute hanging tag and like, um, um, plastic star there. And so I decided to attach that onto the red twill. And I ended up grabbing one of the Tim Holtz little pins that you'll be able to see in one of the pictures a little bit better. And then I staple it. It's a loop pin is what that's called. But I really like the look of that on top. As always, let me know if you guys have questions in the comments below.